And it's going to be Bujalev going up against Odson Edward. Celtic versus Schalke. And it will be Bujalev shooting from left to right in the Schalke kit, of course. And the Celtic green and white will be Odson Edward. Yeah, Bujalev. player he's, he's, he's at least using his own player seems to be lining up with a similar lineup that Schalke use in the eFootball Pro match days here uh, Bujaleb they 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 do use Nassim Bujaleb in the midfield often with uh, Amine Harrit uh, the likes of Bergstaller up front as well so he seems to have taken at least some lineup tips from the uh, Schalke North Fiat uh, eSports players uh, it looks very similar to the way they line up Harrit was trying to find the ball into Oh, and they're not going to be able to happen. Forrest trying to get away down this right-hand side for Celtic. Maybe playing with the ball just a little bit too much there. And uh, maybe just a little bit lackadaisical in possession is Edouard. The yellow card coming in there is actually for Bujaleb. Not too sure. I think it was Omar Mascarell, actually, that came oh, okay, in with okay. that challenge. But, uh, oh, yes. well, there it is. But, uh, yeah, he's certainly... It's good to see, again, the, you know, them actually playing themselves, unlike... Uh, our fellow from Moscow in the previous game, Alexi. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really disappointing. I mean, you have a chance to use yourself in a video game and you don't even play, you don't even bring yourself on as a substitute, Chris. It's, it's a shambles, Poor really. Poor form. Ball whipped in, though. Maybe an opportunity here for Edouard. Not going to happen. Griffith's not able to get there. Forrest's ball in was deep, but Azure will get this one away. Now Raman trying to get down this left hand side. It's a good opening run here by the Schalke man, but Bergstaller will not be able to get there on that one. Easy collection from the Celtic man there. Rogic now trying to get this one away. Heavy touches. Neither player able to create some clinical chances so far, Harry. Certainly not. There was a chance there for, for Bergstaller, but the, the pass from Rahman, just not good enough. Chance now, though, for Eduard maybe to put some pressure on of his own. Not going to happen. That final pass wanting... I don't, I'm not able to find anything there. The ball inside once again. Maybe sloppy play from these two in the first 23 minutes or so. Trying to just stamp some authority on the game. Stamp Uli down the right hand side to Bujalep. Look for the pass down the line to Calgurian. We'll find that one back to Harrick now. Go football here. Man the shot come on. Just trying to get the ball under his feet if you like. And trying to get a feel for it if you if you want. And maybe just the lack of possession so far is being the reason we haven't seen too many opportunities. It's It's been good possession to try and have that has been the difficulty. But here we go. Bujalev through himself. Now we'll send Caligari down this right-hand side. It's a bad, bad touch by the Italian, though, and that one will go out for a throw. Yeah, Bujalev happy to play out from the press coming in from Eduard. Maybe, again, a bit of frustration or, or design tactic from the Celtic man. But he wants to try and put the pressure on Bujalev here early. And really, you can tell he wants to play with the ball, Eduard. Easy interception. Harrit might actually be able to get this one away on the counter-attack. It's a good ball into the feet of Rahman now. Bergstoller, is he actually onside? Yes, he is. First big opportunity. Oh, it's wide. It's one that you feel you have to take there, Bujalep. It was a really, really good run through the centre. And will be wide. The keeper doesn't have to make a save. Really good opportunity there, though, for Schalke. Rojek now down this right-hand side. Maybe looking for the cross in. He's going to find the cross in towards the front post. And he's going to have to be played away. And out for Johnston now. Good turn on the edge of the box. Looks to put it into Edouard to try and score a goal for himself. Good opportunity here. Looking to try and pass it in. Great cross in. Crossbar re rebounded. It will be put away. Celtic take the lead after no chances whatsoever. Griffiths will bury it. 1-0. 35 minutes gone. Well... A great goal. Somewhat fortunate, you would say. It all came from the work being done from Eduard's virtual character. And then, well, the real-life Eduard did the rest with Lee Griffiths. And uh, 36th minute rebound off the crossbar falls kindly back to him. And a man who has scored a 
21 goals in 27 games for Celtic in the league so far this season is, uh, well, continuing his fine goal-scoring form here on the virtual pitch as well. When he's doing great defensive work in the midfield, but he's going to give that one away. Scott Brown, I feel it was there. Raman looking for the ball through to Bergstoller. Can he find the net the second time? I'm asking, not quite. The rebound, where's it going? It will be defended, and Forrest will get this one away. Another good game here so far, Harry, though. Both these two teams having opportunities. Forrest getting his legs running down this right-hand side. Will not work out for him, though. And now the defensive side of things, you are left open a little bit. Pass inside, not going to be found. Maybe it's been lost in the middle, though. Harry, can he get control of it? Not quite. Scott Brown in the middle, just getting things done as per usual. Edward now looking for the pass outside. It's a poor one to McGregor, and Sonic will get a hold of this one. Yeah, we thought it, to Caliguri as well. thought it might be, Chris, a, a very good game of eFootball Pez, purely based on the eFootball Pro heritage both of these clubs have. Will be a, a free kick to Schalke right on half-time. This will be the last kick of the half, but a very good game so far. Maybe an effort here. He can score from here. Harry. I'm rocking, looking to line this one up. We'll hit it and over hit it. Not going to happen from there. That will be the end of the half, and it will be the Celtic man. Edward leading 1 to 0 now. Change is going to come in here on one side of things from the Schalke side, actually. This is a very meta formation that you you often see in Pez from years gone by. It's obviously very prevalent here in eFootball Pez 2020 as well. Uh, don't be surprised to see, yep, Katuchu, come on. Uh, Matondo, I'm surprised, hasn't featured so far either. Merchan, neither McKinney. We'll see which of those options he decides to use. If it's me, I'm thinking McKinney to shore up the midfield and give you a chance to come back into this game. But uh, so far, Edouard looks good for his 1-0 lead. He hasn't had as many chances as Nassim Bujleb on the Schalke side, but there is still another half of Pez to play, so we'll have to see whose coaching comes off better here. Will it be uh, Merriman making the difference for Schalke Nolfia come the end of the game? Half-time changes coming in, about 20 seconds or so for these players to make their changes that they feel they need to, but yeah, I think you're right, you know, I think Edouard has had his one good opportunity, has taken it, but Schalke, man, Nassim Boujelem definitely has had opportunities himself. So we still got a good 45 minutes yet of eFootball pairs, and which way will this one go? Tight game. Neither player able to establish much of a lead here, but let's see as we do head in towards the second half. A couple of substitutions coming in for Edouard, and El Yanusi will actually get going down this left-hand side. A bit of a pace coming on. Griffiths now in the middle. Back to McGregor and out to El Yanusi. And maybe can use the pace, the fresh legs to burn past. Not going to happen. That will be a goal kick. But Gillette can have another opportunity to attack. Needs to find a goal in this next 45 hour. Yeah, Edouard starting the half strongly. It's surprising for me that he's brought El Yanusi on at half-time. He's one of those electric, pacey players that can really change the game when you bring him on a little bit later on when the defence maybe has lost a bit more stamina. As of right now, you can see the likes of Sane at the back for uh, Bujaleb still have a fair amount of stamina, so can catch El Unisi should he maybe steal half a yard or so. But, you know, it's not a bad substitution to make at any time of the game. Living maybe a little bit dangerously here at Eduard in his own half, but Scott Brown will get this one out. Good. Direct balls into... The front two, Griffiths will get this one. Edouard, can he get his chest on it? Mean, yes, he can. Using his strength to get this one away. A really good pass into El Yanisi. And can he put this one back in for Edouard? Good save. Bujalev living, living dangerously here. Nelly would have had the first goal by the actual player on himself there. <laughs> I think Edouard, the, uh, really the good virtual there. Edouard is maybe sharing the frustrations of the actual real-life <laughs> Edouard right now. Corner whipped in towards the front post. It's maybe another opportunity for Celtic. Has to get this one away. Schalke. And it will be cleared up the pitch. Too tukey, but can't quite get there. Harrit now trying to chase down as best as he can as his Bergstaller, but good passing around by Eduard and really, really good work by him in the second half. It's definitely grown into the game. He definitely has his lead, of course, but as time has went on, maybe he'd been a bit better with possession. I say that as the ball has been given away. Bergstall mm -hmm. has been sent in. The keeper's been brought out. Oh, and it is going to be the post. This one should be cleared away by Aja. What a huge opportunity that was. Once again, 
from the man from Schalke, but he just can't put it in the back of the net here, Harry. Well, Celtic so far doing better than their Glasgow rivals, but living very dangerously, as you said. Surprised that maybe Bujaleb didn't go for the chip there. Might have been the better option. Oh, ball in once again. Enjoying his time down this left-hand side. But now the current attack maybe is open here. Berg still lies. He's going to be looking for the ball through. Direct pass. Pass inside to Rahman now. Onto his left foot. Post once again. The rebound eventually. Schalke will get the goal that they deserve. Bujalev gets it done through Katucci. And that is going to be one apiece now. Schalke definitely worth this draw right now for Bujalev. Who's back into the game. Yeah, he's been knocking on the door all game. And just as Eduard's goal went in at the Schalke end, it's happened here at the Celtic green and white end of the pitch as well. Falls kindly for Katucci. And that will be the equaliser. And for me, that sets up this game really nicely because now Eduard has to go and try and chase a goal. Not that he wasn't already anyway, but he has to try and chase a winner now if he doesn't want this game to go to extra time. And, well, it gives Bujaleb, Nassim Bujaleb, the confidence that he needs maybe to push on and find a winner of his own Stambouli now trying to get this attack started through Bouchelev trying to roll his man not going to happen this one will be cleared away and Elianusi will get going once again he has been really the catalyst for Celtic since he's come on and it's going to be Edouard maybe the pass inside was the option there you think Harry not going to happen for him and once again Schalke can counter attack Burke Stoller he's not going to get there in front of Aja who will clear this one back to Where's a Foster, but still knocking at the door is the Schalke man. Yeah, looks very, very clinical on the counter attack. Just watch out for Harrit. Uh, trying to link up with Katucci and Bergstahl. It's a very venomous front three that, despite, you know, the Schalke 04 esports players not really been able to settle into a groove throughout the season, are a very venomous, venomous front three. Well, it's a ball in towards the front post. Good defending, but the deflection. Oh! I mean, he was offside, but I'm not quite sure what he was doing with it. <laughs> Just about offside. Again, Chris, it's where the super council comes into play. When you've queued up an input, The it doesn't matter what happens in the game. If you don't use the, the super council, it will be L2 and R2, or depending on your control scheme, L1 and R1. And of course, depending on the console you're playing on, but it can cancel that queued up input and can give you a chance maybe to queue up a different input like a shot in that kind of situation. In the end, doesn't matter because it's offside, but just uh, one of those little tips that maybe these esports players should have been feeding to their pro players. Stambouli will get some good defensive work done and Bujaleb will be the one to try and get this one away. It turns and sends it down the line to Katucci. Trying to burn some pace. Yeah, he's on his bike down this right-hand side. Not going to happen. This ball will be cleared away. Good defensive work by Celtic once again. Everything coming through. Elliot News. Absolutely nothing went down the right-hand side in this half of Celtic. <laughs> 82 minutes gone. And I don't think I've seen a pass go down the right wing. Oh, it's a good ball in though. Griffiths onside. Doesn't really have any options in the box. So we'll have to drag this one back. But chooses to go for the shot. Always an acute angle. Not going to be able to bury it from there. It was a good counter-attack in play, though, by Celtic. Not quite enough to get anything done. 85 minutes gone now. Changes yeah, coming the, in. The run was good from Griffiths, and I'm not surprised, really, to see Eduard go for that shot controlling Griffiths. He's a, a player I actually have in my, uh, my my club lineup, and he can fire in those types of shots from that kind of angle. And uh, here we go. Here are the, some of the subs that I mentioned earlier on. Matondo on as is McKinney, two very powerful players for Schalke. Uh, we'll see if they make the difference. They've been very, very influential, I want to say, throughout eFootball Pro match day so far for Schalke and Alfie. And uh, well, you can see Nassim Bujaleb is uh, trusting his, well, his teammate, I suppose, his tactics uh, merriment with the coaching. The change is coming through. Both players, another minute or so to make them. Turning the stats out, making sure they're lined up with real life. I think he's brought himself <laughs> off, has he, for, for has McKinney he? here, Bujalev. Yeah, I think he has. Despicable. There he it has. is. There's the confirmation. Oh, must Going take some stones to do that. Yeah. 84 <laughs> minutes. I mean, it, it's a good account of himself, but clearly feeling like he needs to do a few more minutes on the treadmill, maybe in real life, to get that stamina rating up <laughs> for the next, uh, next iteration of Pez. Harrit now for Schalke. You feel as if a goal here for either team 
and maybe be the final dagger. And Cham is going to get this one away down this left-hand side. Edouard really blowing now down that left-hand side. Plenty of work has been done through him. Harrit not going to be able to find the pass, but he will be fortuitous enough to get the ball on the edge of the box here. Offside once again. And that's happened a good few times to the Schalke man whenever going forward. And your players just going a little bit too early with those runs, but a good defensive line by Celtic. I mean that no more opportunities are going to present themselves, but Matundo, he's being given the ball. Surely you're not going to be given this opportunity. <laughs> this shot is wayward, and Arja will get this one away. An opportunity created by Celtic themselves. Anarchy. For the Schalke side. Absolute crazy scenes in the box. Can't quite get it done. Harrit now. Can he find a goal in the final seconds for his team? Looking for the pass if he can. Lingered on it too long. Extra time is coming. <laughs> oh my, I'm Harry, just thinking back to that chance with Matondo. I mean, he tries to take it wide around the keeper, which is a good idea in theory, but the shot was just dragged so far wide. It, it was a bit of a miserable effort in the end. Uh, I just, <laughs> I just had it, had a thought and I just had an inkling that as soon as he didn't go for the chip shot once he saw the goalkeeper rushing after the mistake it that sort of thing probably would have happened and well a chance to win the game for Bujaleb thrown away in the end completely thrown away and to extra time we go Schalke looking the more likely I think in all honesty Bujaleb probably has been somewhat the stronger player I, I would say that you know, he's had more chances at least anyway well, you think about the substitutions he's made, uh, you know, will certainly be impacting the performance here in the extra time. Harrit is on his last legs, but the likes of Matondo and McKinney could be, again, difference maker. You're looking at Christie and, and Cham on the Celtic side, maybe, to be those similar sort of impact players here for Eduard. Griffiths now into the feet of Eduard. Can't quite find the second pass, though. He's kept himself on, though, to be fair, Eduard. <laughs> I, I respect that. I'd be keeping myself on in fairness as well. Oh, yeah. I'd be running to, running to the ground before you can pull me off. I've been taking the winning penalty. <laughs> McKinney now. The American will find Harris. It's a cracking ball to Matundo. And it's a really, really good challenge in the end. A good attacking player, but equally matched defensively. Edward now very much doesn't have the legs to pull. Even pass it as Harris is going to be able to get a hold of that one. McKenny now looking for the run of Matundo. He's got men in the box as well. Maybe looking for the pullback. He's going to find Harrods. Oh, it's so fortuitous. It's so unfortunate on the side of Edouard. It will rebound in, but Harrods will take that one all day long. 2-1 to Schalke. 100 minutes gone. Yeah, Mine Harrod just stinks. ghosts into those. <laughs> he ghosts into those positions so often. We won't see the full replay, but the deflection, as you said, so cruel. So, so cruel. And for all Edouard's hard work. He still has a bit of time left. He has 20 or so in-game minutes left in extra time and has Bio fresh on the pitch, so could still score an equaliser. But it's so, so tough when you do concede a goal like that. We've all been there. And uh, he just has to keep his head now, Edouard. Still, by the way, hasn't subbed himself off. I mean, <laughs> it, his players on red stamina and... He's he determined some oranges, to keep his He needed some oranges order. at half time. Yeah, magic he? sponge quickly. Harrit now. Oh, good ball. He's going to send Raman down the left hand side. Harrit really has been orchestrating the play for Schalke. Did you find a third here? Maybe to tie this one up if you're Boozleb. Not going to happen. Eduard will try and get this one away, but that will be the end of the first half of extra time. We will head in the second one with a slight lead for the Schalke man. He's had more possession and more chances, as you can see, but. Surely he's going to shut up shop now. Wouldn't surprise me too much. All right, going to go off. He's attacking player. Not needed now. Defensive substitution's coming in. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe a change in formation here as well as the uh, extra substitution comes in because we are in extra time, of course. You get that one extra sub. Uh, maybe to change the formation away from having two attacking midfielders almost to, to maybe having two sitting deep and maybe one in the centre. But... He's sticking with it, maybe banking on the counter-attack uh, and might be looking for even a third hit, Bujaleb. Edouard has to come forward, so it's a viable tactic. Just waiting on the players making their final substitutions. If you are, it's an Edouard. You need to get this one done. You need to find a, a goal pretty quickly. That's had his chances, though, and you know, if anything, his... Uh, his right midfielders should be fairly fairly fresh <laughs> because everything was going down his left-hand side. 
again, I'm just, I, I almost want to say Eduard's stamina. Because uh, it was definitely in the red towards uh, the end of that first period of extra time. But um, again, surprising for me. Because Griffiths has that ejection of pace, but Eduard is clearly just banking on himself. Uh, that confidence, of course, in his <laughs> own blind faith <laughs> in game character. But to be fair, we can't be too harsh on him because we were blasting. Uh, uh, the man from Moscow earlier on, Alexei uh, Satormin, for not even playing himself. So, you know, can't uh, can't play devil's advocate here. We've got to <laughs> applaud him, applaud him, I suppose. Katuchu will get this one down this right-hand side from Matondo. Plenty of fresh legs here. Arja, maybe not so much, but the strength. Very much on his side of things. Christy will try and get this one away. Into the feet of Eduard, who is literally <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> He's dead on his feet. Chat, I'm looking for the ball inside. Looking out with Christy. Maybe the one to orchestrate this crucial attack for the Celtic man. It's a ball out wide for Elian Lucy. Look for the cross in, maybe. Look for the pass. Is he going to find Eduard in the front post? What a save. Schalke living dangerously here. But you're going to feel Eduard with maybe a little bit more stamina would have had maybe a bit more about that shot and he's going to be put in towards the front post can't quite find it but the second tune opportunity not going to happen to bell get a hold of that oh my he's had his chances this one will be cleared by the shot keeper straight out for a throw in but celtic still knocking on the door here well that's where you keep edward on the pitch even with low stamina he finds himself in those goal scoring opportunities couldn't finish it that time but uh just take a look at Bujaleb's tactics in the bottom right, that blue bar signifying he's gone defensive. Wouldn't be surprised to see it maybe go down a further notch and go park the bus mode here as there's only two in-game minutes left. It would make sense. Not long left at all. Just need to keep a hold of the ball and doing so well. Bujaleb, you got to say, good value for his, his win here, looking like that will be the end and it will be Schalke going on through. Rangers fans rejoices. Selig... <laughs> Two drop on out, but Nassim Bujalep <laughs> will get it done for Schalke. But right now, let's concentrate on this one. It is going to be Nassim Bujalep going up against Merlin Pjanic in this quarterfinal, the final quarterfinal. Then we will get into the semis, of course. It's been a great night of eFootball Pez 2020 in the Stay Home with Pez Cup. Yeah. Professional football players trying their hand, quite literally, at pro evolution. And let's see who can advance through in the final semi-final slot. This is a really tough game for Pjanic to start his stay at home with Pez campaign against because, I mean, uh, granted you say he has the, the ratings advantage with the likes of Quadrado, he has Cristiano Ronaldo who was just dispossessed, uh, Paolo Dybala, you know, himself, Pjanic in the game. Um, Schalke don't have those kind of high rated players, uh, certainly not comparable to Juventus, but you have to think Bujaleb, uh has already won in the round of 16. He's already got his campaign off to a winning start. He's already uh, also, I should say, has the, the coaching of Merriman. There's, there's a chance here for Pjanic. This is a really tough game for Pjanic. He needs to, needs to really keep his wits about him and keep his concentration levels high. Oh, well, you know, it's actually just got a hold of the ball there. Cristiano Ronaldo will find Douglas Costa first. Big opportunity, and that's Dybala on his right foot. On his left, that maybe goes in the top corner. The weak foot there, not able to do the damage for Pjanic. First pick opportunity falls to Juventus, though. And I I must say, Dybala is one of my favourite players uh, to use in my club. It, it just Every time I get the ball to his feet, I feel like doing the double touch, and, and I can't resist doing it. It's, it just seems to be more effective with him than other players that I've tried it with. Uh, this one will be brought back for a foul on Bujaleb, I believe. So a Schalke free kick. But uh, look out for Dybala supplementing the attack with Cristiano Ronaldo for Miralem Pjanic here. Um, again, we, can, we can't understate the this, this ratings and uh, statistical advantages going in Pjanic's favour. But the the things outside of the game and, and the, the advice that Merriman will be bringing to Bujaleb will surely make a difference and might negate some of those statistical advantages going against them. A little bit of possession here for Schalke. Sounding now to McKenney. He's going to be starting for his team this time around. Didn't last time and choosing to go with him from the off here is Bujaleb. 
Hello, Gary. We'll get all this thrown. 15 minutes gone. Would you love using his own player once again? They were not able to find anything there with Harriton. A counter-attacking opportunity potentially here. Douglas Costa. Pacey is an understatement. Trying to push forward. Dybala now on this right-hand side. Looking to maybe cut in the cross. Not good enough. Harrit will get a hold of this one and maybe set up a counter-attacking opportunity. But maybe lingering on the ball a little bit too much there. Raman will get a hold of it. McKenny now in the middle of the park. will send it out to Bujalek. Yeah, chance to attack down this near side and Harrit, who's on the ball at the moment, will again be a focal point for, for Bujaleb to try and exploit. He ghosts into those positions that really helps his team out and it's really clinical. You just watch his movement off the ball as a ball is swung in here. Uh, Harrit makes some really key runs and, and thanks to his, his traits, is able to get into positions that other players don't. So he will be a player that surely Bujaleb will look to try and abuse and really help him try and win this match. Cristiano Ronaldo turning inside, getting the better of his man as he so often does onto his left and in and Sané will get in front of that one. Out for a corner to Juventus yet. Yeah. Whipped in. Gonna head it down actually defensively. Nobel will get onto this one. We'll fire it forward. Allegri now. Inside to McKenny and then to Harrit. Oh, can't find the pass there though. Pjanic now will distribute this towards Cristiano Ronaldo, who's getting plenty of time on the ball here. Stambouli will get a hold of it, and Bergstaller will get this one away, but Charles got defending well. Bujaleb doesn't seem too, uh, too starstruck, if you like, in this one. Raman now, back to Harrit. The run from Raman is good. Bergstaller in the middle as well, not able to get a hold of it, though, and it's good defending once again. And uh, both teams holding on quite well here. Ronaldo not able to get to this one. 33 minutes gone. Still nil the piece. Yeah, no real attacking chances from either side so far. It's been a quite an attritional affair. We'll have to see who is the first to really fashion that that chance that should be converted into a goal, and we'll see where we go from there. Cristiano Ronaldo now, seemingly the catalyst for his team, which is no surprise. Oh, Stan Willey has to be careful with the ball there as Bujaleb will get this one away down this right-hand side. It's a decent knock to Caliguri, who will get the pass inside to Harrit, and it's good ball through the minute to Bergstaller, who is just offside. Good line held by Juventus Quadrado in the right-back role as he's uh, developed into. Just getting in the way of that one. You saw Bergstaller try and hold his run, but it was just a little bit too late, but Schalke can come again here. Decent ball in. The pass for Big Stoller was on a lot earlier there through the middle. Look at the run from Douglas Costa as Cristiano Ronaldo has the ball. Good defensive interception. Sane will get this one to Stambouli and Bujaleb will try and get this one away. Caliguri and Harrit combining. Not that well in the end. McKenny's going to have to try and get back as Cristiano Ronaldo is once again released down this left-hand side. Stambouli getting the better of him the majority of the time here though, Harrit. Yeah, both players really just almost negating what the other is trying so far. Thinking about the long game, it might just come down to the substitutions that Bujaleb makes. He does have Katuchu to look forward to. Raman is actually going to get past here. Good save by Chesney and Bergstaller will just about get a hold of it, but that will be the end of the half as he runs it out to play. Another piece here and a game full of uh, not very many chances between these two. No, it was, be able to get the uh, the better of each other here. Yeah. yeah, it was less wide open, wasn't it, than the the games we've seen previous. It's, uh, neither player wants to uh, you know bring dishonor upon upon their football clubs, and I think that's maybe why we are seeing such a, a closely contested and closely fought affair here. Some people might call it boring. I don't. I think it's quite fascinating to see how both these players are going to try and break the other down. It might just take a, an individual bit of bl brilliance from. A single player. You look at the likes of Dybala and Ronaldo on the Juventus' side and the likes of Harrit for Schalke. We'll see who's the man to step up. Big Solar not able to get on the ball there. Good defending by Juventus. Douglas Costa not able to get away, but eventually he will. Sane shrugs him off. Powerful at the back. McKenny will be the one to try and get this one away through Bujaleb. 
Caligari now looking for that one touch pass inside, not able to find it. And once again, Juventus will break. Has to be said that, you know, Schalke haven't found any clean opportunities so far. It seems to be rushed a little bit from Bujalep. Yeah, you think back to the, the round of 16 against Celtic, there were plenty of chances, weren't there? It's been a completely different story here against uh, Pjanic. And he's defended well, Pjanic. And it's something that Bujalep is struggling to break down. All right, now doesn't have any walls in front of him. Pjanic, a really good defending figuratively speaking, from both himself and his player in game. Ronaldo does have support from Alexandro down this left-hand side. Dybala now up to Sandro. Really well worked. The Brazilian will get the ball in. It's well defended, though, and Harrit will have to get this one away through Sané and then Stambouli, but calm defensive possession play here from Schalke. Kabak now. Playing on the left, but has been playing at centre-back. For his team, Nubel out to Nastasic and McKenny may be the one to get this one out. Need to see some clear cut opportunities for one of these players soon. Come back again. Robin. Pass inside is on. Plenty of men back for Juventus and the counter attack is what they're going with. Cristiano Ronaldo will win the ball in the middle of the park. It's not a great ball out though. Douglas Costa will not get there. Kabak will deal with this and. Stambouli will get it away for Schalke. Subs time approaching that magical 70th minute. That's where you start to see the players with the super sub trait really come into their own and something that both players need to be very mindful of. The throne is taken quickly, so no pause queued up just yet. Both players clearly happy to try and break the other down with the 11 on the pitch as it is. I'm not sure if that will be anything that actually happens here in the full 90. It might just take one of those super oh. subs to come in. Aaron Ramsey now, not able to find anything. Oh, <laughs> Living dangerously if you're Bujala at the back, but Caligari will get this one away. He's not able to send Bergstahl out here. 70th minute gone. Now the team able to clear, create any uh, clean opportunities. Roman, though, will send Harry. Maybe he can get away from Quadrado here. Yes, he can. The Rocket marauding into the box. Not going to happen there. Ramsey, though, in the way of the Welshman. Does have a run. In front of him as well, but good defensive work by the Schalke squad, although they're going to give it away here. Douglas Costa looking to punish the mistake, cutting inside onto his left foot as well. Good save. Bujala will be able to get this one away for his team, but that's the first big opportunity, you think? Yeah, first real big one, and one maybe that should have been put away by Douglas Costa. He's coming forward once again, but uh, cleared by Bujala. You can tell... Bujalev is putting a lot of a lot of uh, faith in this man right here, Amine Harit. Obviously, teammates for the Moroccan national team. Uh, good friends, no doubt, for Schalke Elfira as well. But uh, it might just be subs time. I'm, I'm feeling like a pause needs to come in here soon for, for Bujalev. And right on cue, it's time to introduce the likes of uh, Merchan he could bring on, maybe. Uh, Katuchu, who I mentioned earlier. We'll have to see again. Who is going to be the difference maker here? It was Matondo and Katuchu, the duo in the round of 16 against Celtic that made the difference with Amine Harrit staying on and scoring the eventual winning goal. So we'll see what, what kind of tactics uh, Bujaleb goes for here. Looks like Katuchu coming on once again, and he's thinking about maybe bringing on a third substitution. Well, these subs coming in. Well, he's brought Harriet off. That's a surprise for me, Chris. It's it's a player that has really been working out for Bujaleb. We'll see if this risk pays off because Harriet has been, well, he's been one of the hardest working players on the pitch for Schalke and is one of their deadliest weapons as well. Ball in here. He's going to be forcing a corner for Schalke now. 79 minutes gone. A goal here would really... Give that team a, an opportunity to walk away as winners here. Sadar's going to whip this one in towards the middle of the 18-yard box, but Kabak will retrieve it. McKenney, shot for now. Can't find the pass. Dybala intercepting, and Cristiano Ronaldo will get this one away. He'll try and stretch his legs to try and bundle past his strength being used fantastically. Portuguese man not able to get away from a third man. No. Given away. 82 minutes gone. Retrieved by Schalke now. Shop not able to do anything. Given away. Bless Matuidi. Then giving it away to Shop. Exchanging possession in the middle of the park. 
Katucci will get there here though for Schalke. The run from Caligari is fantastic. Can he get there though? Alexandro far too fast. Will just about get there. Nelly gives it away, but this one will be cleared. He will give it away. Raman, Katucci, huge chance here for Schalke. Pass out to Caligari, Katucci in the box. 87 minutes gone and that's how long it took for Bujala for Schalke to get a massive opportunity and he takes this one. Nobody home for Juventus. He gives it away here, Marilyn Pjanic, and that's a hard way to go behind in the 88th minute now. Surely, surely it's the game to lose now for Bujalev and Schalke. Katushu, the super sub once again. The Turkish international has surely now won it for Schalke, barring a massive mistake from Bujalev. What a time to get a goal. Katsuchu and Bujaleb will advance to the semi-finals. Yeah, and can he get it done here against Inter in our first semi-final? <laughs> if you see, you see, you, I you told done, you, it's not an easy name end, to yeah. pronounce. Sebast Sebastiano. Sebastiano. There you go. There we go. We got it in the end. It's not easy, is it? It's not easy. I was at like, all. How are you getting that wrong, Sebastiano? Apparently, it's just, just not an easy one to say, but there we go. We got it in the end, and we are mm -hmm. into the game. Imagine Bujaleb. hiring commentators who can't talk, honestly. Wow, I, I know. We'll, uh... <laughs> we'll just leave now, shall we? We'll just be silence for the rest of the stream. Yeah, but you're right, it's an interesting... Just put Pierre Drury on it. It's an interesting piece of information you bring up about uh, you know having the, the ratings advantage. I mean, you think about the Inter Milan team, Christian Eriksen, uh, Lukaku, Sanchez to bring on potentially from the bench as well. Um Schalke just don't really have that many superstars. The likes of Harrit again, who we've mentioned in the in the previous game, uh, Omar Mascarell as well, a, a solid midfielder. But uh, certainly the strength in favour of Inter Milan. Uh, we'll see though if Esposito is able to fashion more chances than he could in the quarterfinals against Manchester United, because uh, we again we just did not see the best out of Esposito. That absolutely not. Hopefully we can see a bit more from him this time round. But he just took one opportunity for Bujaleb in the previous game. Let's see if he can maybe find some more here. Raman down, down this left-hand side. We'll try to run forward, but getting the better of his man here. Plenty of pace down this left-hand side. We'll try to cut back in, but it's a Moses trying to get the better of him. And we'll get the ball back. Probably Lukaku now to maybe get this one away for into the line. Yeah, Kandreva, Brozovic. There's just so many great midfielders and you forget about Martinez up top as well supplementing Lukaku it's just such a strong team that Milan have hopefully Esposito can use them to the best of his abilities and I mean I think you and I both have Bujalab after you know his previous round performances being probably the stronger of the two players I think Esposito will have to be using them to the best of his abilities who oh, can drive with a good ball in Lukaku was waiting Brozovic hits it Nabel had to be wise to it Came in quickly, but straight out of my the way. That's what we like to see, though, Chris. We want to see more, Effort, more yeah. long shots from the, uh, that sort of range, you know. We want to see <laughs> it's more one of those. It's like, it's like the rule is you have to hit those. Yeah, it's one of those where you're down the playground, you scream the name of your favourite player as you're hitting it and hope to summon some form of spiritual energy. Didn't work out that time, though. No. <laughs> Lukaku now. Until the Toro Martinez trying to get away, but really good defensive work there by the Schalke squad. Rarely worked out for me down the playground either. I mean, it's just always went over. <laughs> Would that be the player you're shouting for, or you're on? I probably might. <laughs> Pigstaller will get this one into the feet of Raman here, onto his left. He looks to turn inside, but. Victor Moses will get the better run. Victor Moses has been impressive, has to be said. Every time I've seen him on the ball, defending well, getting far forward. Usually knackered by the 65th minute, bless him, because <laughs> plenty of work from Esposito <laughs> is uh, going down this right-hand side. Lukaku now. Victor Moses is surely the ball. Here we go. Lukaku running into the box, but it is actually going to be the overhead kick coming in. And that's on Christian Eriksen. Not necessarily uh, something that's in his wheelhouse, but either way, trying it yet. Not able to get away with it, though, and... Shaka will get away with this ball. We'll call it an improvised finish from the Dane. <laughs> uh, but you're right, not really something he has in his locker. Uh, this is better, though, from Esposito. Seems to be attacking with more freedom than he did in the in the quarterfinal match. And 
Uh, it comes back to what we were saying. I just don't think that we saw the best out of Esposito and he and McTominay really cancelling each other's play styles out. I think we'll see more freedom and more release from uh, the Milan youngster here against the German club Schalke 04 and Bujleb. Gearing. Trying to get the cross in, but well intercepted, and that will be a corner now for Schalke. Harrod to take this one. From post is where we're going. <laughs> and Danovic, wise to it though. Whacked in, not able to find anything from it. Lukaku now head down. Kandreva. Getting away down this right hand side. 36 minutes gone. Lukaku with plenty of room here. Yeah, good interception. In the end, Schalke will get this one away. Bujalev living maybe a little bit more dangerously. I would like to say Esposito has maybe been the better player here so far. Ozipka will get this one away down this left-hand side. Into Harit. Oh, he's going to be closed down. Brozovic all over the day. And as you said, it's a good shot coming in. Oh, I'll tell you what. Some effort from Lataro Martinez. Fair it's play. Fair from a mistake, but you love to see those be hit. Absolutely. And it's something that me and some of the other eFootball Pro pundits like to like to call taking more risks. And uh, it's not the most inventive wording, I suppose, but we just never see the freedom out of the players at the highest level. Good to see Esposito really willing to take long-range strikes. And it's an adaptation of his gameplay that's working here against Schalke. Always give it away, though. Caliguri, can he capitalize on the mistake? The rebound and the goal. It's a mistake by Esposito and Bouchelab. You have to say, every time a mistake is made on the opposition, he punishes them. Clinical with his opportunities. And that is 1-0. to zero. It has to be said, maybe against the run of play. 1-0 to Schalke now. And that should be the score heading into the half. And that's got to be disappointing in the window of the sales of Esposito, who has been the better player so far. Yeah, sinks the putt as well in the celebration. Tremendous stroke. Great finish, but uh, a, a venomous and deadly time to get a goal. As you said, taking the wind right out of the sails of Esposito, who was in the ascendancy in that first half. You see three shots, just just one more than, than the Schalke team had as a whole, but really was fashioning and threatening attacks for the majority of the half. And I feel Esposito might feel slightly hard done by and this score doesn't exactly flatter Bujaleb so far. Absolutely not. 1-0 to Schalke now. Some changes potentially being made at the half. Maybe a little bit of a break to gain some composure. I need that sometimes. Have an extra long pause at the half just to get myself back into it. Reset the game. Composure. That's all it's about, Harry. Yeah, I think we're seeing this through... <laughs> Esposito's point of view um, so no doubt Schalke may be making some changes actually might be and it is Bujaleb's point of view so it's Bujaleb's console which means that the changes have been made at half time for Esposito maybe a formation change certainly a personnel one as uh, Alexis Sanchez brought in to try and give a bit more of an attacking presence we'll see if it works let's see what he can do Put into my line. Can you get the buttons of this game? Asamoah down this left hand side. Putting on the afterburners to get away, and it's a good pass out by Sane now. Maybe an interception in the middle. Not quite. Harrit will calmly deal with this one. Rahman down, down this left hand side. Aggressive defense coming in from Victor Moses here. Looking like a foul, but the referee says no. It's Bujalev now. We'll get this down the right hand side. Caliguri, good football here from Schalke. Rahman was the, was the target, but couldn't quite get the ball. But once again, Schalke will cop. Caligari now. Back to Bujalev, just taking their time with the ball here. Don't need to rush it. Harrit. Maybe looked like a wayward pass, but eventually it will arrive at the feet of Rahman now. Bergstahl. A little bit of room on the edge of the box goes for it. And Danovic wise it will get in the way. Sorry, Chesney for his team. And into Milan will get this one away. What's Andanovic? Sorry, you see, keep us mixed up now, Harry. 
That's so many lineups we need to memorize here, Chris. Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> Schalke will defend as well, though. 60 minutes gone, and as to be said, have had the better of the second half so far. Have Schalke on the German side looking good. Bujlev trying to get this one away, and that is a wayward run. Look at this one from Romelu Lukaku, though. Pacing forward on the inside. The ball inside was maybe a little bit too early for Alexis Sanchez, and Estasic will deal with this one. Calm uh, Pez here, has to be said, from, from Schalke. Bujlev, we said, we feel as if he would be the favourite here. Getting the job done so far, Harry. Yeah, and it's... Part and parcel of, of Schalke's play in the eFootball Pro season as well. Plenty of possession. It's got to be said, Bujleb may be creating more chances than the eFootball Pro squad's been able to so far this season. Obviously, the team sitting at the bottom of the standings, but he is certainly good for his attacking gameplay so far. Almost in once again. But plenty of possession, plenty of controlled football from Schalke, but... Just watch out for Esposito on these counter-attacks. All it takes is one move, and then we are back at 1-1. Sanchez looking for the cross inside. Lukaku had to be the target, couldn't quite find him. This one will be cleared away, and as time goes on, you feel as if the game will open up. Bergstaller now has the run from Harrod in front of him, but he's going to lose the ball. Harrod was roaming forward. This is an opportunity now for Inter Milan. Lukaku... Finds the touch inside eventually to Sanchez. Back to Lukaku. This is really good football. Barella on the edge of the box. Trying to find Eriksen. Couldn't quite get it there. Nubel will gather gladly in the end. And will clear this one away. Not sure. Is Bujaleb still on the pitch here? Has he subbed himself off? I'm not sure. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Yep, there he is on that far side. Can't imagine he'll be on the pitch too much longer. Expect a, a tactical substitution to come in fairly soon. Maybe a McKinney to fill in that hole. He's looking a little leggy out there. Bujaleb, so... Can't quite get that. But yeah, I think you're right. Substitution's probably going to come in from both sides very, very shortly. If you are Schalke, though, you're very happy to have the ball here, Harry. Yeah, often Schalke find themselves with plenty of possession, not often finding the finishes in the eFootball Pro season, but... He's giving it away there, and with 10 in-game minutes left, we know how fickle eFootball Pez 2020 can be. Last-minute goals are plenty. Can Esposito push the pace and really force the issue? Time for an opportunity. Still there. Harrit will get this one away. Our first semi-final, a place in the final. Looks like it awaits Bujalev from Schalke. Maybe an opportunity to seal the deal here. Roman looking to cut inside. 85 minutes gone. This game is still there for the taking. That will be a goal kick as well. Changes starting to come in here, Harry. What, what would you like to see from Schalke? Surely defensive side of, of the changes, surely. Yeah, looking at the front three, not too much stamina lost. So you're, you're looking again at the... The midfield. Uh, I'm surprised McKinney hasn't been introduced just yet. It looks like Serdar is replace, replacing uh, Bujalev himself. Katuchu, who has had a decent run out so far in the stay at home with Pez Cup, is also getting the nods, maybe for a counter attack or, or to hold the ball up while players run beyond to just kill time off the clock. But for me, the more importance is on the on the substitutions made on the other side for Esposito. He's the man who needs a goal in the next five or so in-game minutes, plus stoppage time. Otherwise, he's going to be bowing out here in the semi-finals and we'll have our first finalist confirmed. Latoura Martinez now trying to get the ball forward. The pass is weak, though. Really, nothing nothing has come together for Esposito, has it? The Milan man has just not been able to get anything going. But it just takes one chance. Lukaku now. Martinez can't find that final pass every single time. It has went wayward. And Schalke may get a counter-attacking opportunity here. Now Bujaleb is on side, as is Caliguri. Stretches through, looks for the chip. It is a goal. It's fantastic from Schalke. And that's going to be it. Bujaleb 2-0 to zero here. As we head into added time. And that will seal the deal. And Danovic lets his team know to push up. It's still time. But no added time coming in. That is the game, Harry, and it's well-deserved from the man from Schalke. Yeah, cracking finish from Caliguri. And it's a cracking game from Nassim Bujaleb. 
The German-born Moroccan international is our first finalist. And just coming back briefly to, to give you a bit of analysis. on <laughs> Nassim Boujalev going up against Ben Leno. This will be the grand final of our stay-at-home tournament with Pez. And what an evening it has been. I tell you what, it's an opportunity straight from the off. Coming in for Boujalev and Schalke. Harrit now still with the ball. Ramen into the feet of Bergstoller. Great save, Leno. And if that's any indication of how this final is going to go, we shall have an absolute bomb burner here. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Nassim Bujaleb, 20 years old, central midfielder. Only five first-team appearances in the German League so far this season, but he has been a star in this tournament. But Leno coming the other way. Aubameyang now back to Pepe. That was a fabulous chance. Pepe is going to take the chance of the rebound, maybe landed at Lacazette's feet. He'll try and get this one away, but we'll have to concede a corner. This one to be whipped in by Pepe. Towards the middle of Bamiyang. Rising highest. Can't quite get there, but wow. What a start to this final seven minutes in, and there's been five shots on target already. A wonderful, wonderful final. This is what we wanted to see. Attack and gameplay, both players going for it. Let's see who comes out on top. Bergstahl, I can't quite get anything going this time round. And it will be the turn of Arsenal to attack. As I said, both players are very, very clinical. So far, they have actually wasted chances, so to speak, or just good saves from the keeper, Torreira. Looking for the ball forward, Lacazette. He's so good at this interplay between these players on the edge of the boxes. But Leno, he will get it back as well. Ozil to Bellerin. Back to Ozil, just building, waiting for the opportune moment. A run from... Oh, Bamiyang will not be found. Ozil. Pepe has the run from Bellerin once again. Maybe a lingering on the ball. Maybe a little bit too much. We'll get it back. Bellerin now. Can't quite find a good defending by Schalke and Bujalev. Can't quite get it away. They're losing in the midfield once again. Lacazette into Aubameyang. First huge chance. And he may have just brushed the crossbar with that one. Great effort from Aubameyang. Arsenal delight, denied by themselves, though. Yeah, plenty of power on that chance. You almost want to call it a half chance based on the pressure that was on him, but still Leno providing and proving to us all that he can make some really nice build-up plays to attacks. And Bujaleb, well, I was going to say it's just a bit of respite for him because he's been under the cosh and been pressured by Leno and Arsenal in the Schalke final third hit for quite some time. It might be some respite from here, but no, gives the ball away once again. Oh, like is that looking for the run of Torreira, who is offside. Ozil in the end, I think. Yeah, the German was actually the one who ran forward. Well spotted, Harry. Not your Arsenal player as well. Caliguri now is on this right side. Can't quite get anywhere. Kolasinic will turn this run. It really has been mostly possession-based football from Arsenal due to the ball being given away by Bujaleb on the side of Schalke this is a good ball into Lacazette looking to find an Aubameyang you will get there tries to play it back Sane will just about get in the way I think if you're Schalke you need to get a hold of the ball here really has been all Arsenal these long balls forward are not working out Ozil can't quite get there though this time around uh, Stambul you will be able to get it out for Schalke but not enough possession for the German side so far no certainly not especially when you consider Previously in the tournament, we were talking about how Bujaleb likes to play with possession. Often when you see that possession stat come up in the top left, it's Schalke with the majority. Um, you're probably waiting to see, again, the impact of the, the substitutions that come in for Bujaleb. Obviously, he has Merriman from the Schalke Esports eFootball Pro lineup. German international as well uh, secured his place at the Euro 2020 for the... Uh, German national side, but here comes Bujaleb forward. A rare chance for him. No, oh, and he's trying to find the ball square across. Couldn't quite get there. I don't know. Aubameyang will spread this wide to Nicolas Pepe. Good switch of play. Like is that far too eager to get that one inside, and Sane will get this one away. 35 minutes gone, and the game has settled somewhat. No real big chances outside of the first five minutes for Schalke. It's been mostly Arsenal and Burnt Leno, which is what we expect him. We've seen really good attacking football from the German and the London side. But now an opportunity maybe for Rahman to get the ball into the box here for Schalke. 
We'll be a throw in Arsenal's way, just rebounds off the player towards the end there. But possession for all that we, I mean, personally, I felt that Arsenal have had most of it. It's actually just a couple of percent here or there. Now I'm trying to get this one away as Kalasnic. Can't quite find the ball inside though. Bergstaller trying to get there. Can't quite. Will get there in the end though. Caliguri, can he get this one away? Maybe an opportunity here for Bujalev. Caliguri now. Down this right hand side. Looking to pass it in. Not going to happen. Bert Leno easily on the ball there. Yeah, well oh, done. I'll tell you right what, though. back actually. Oh! What a save in the end. But is it the opportunity you're going to lie to them? Raman now trying to get this one away. And it was the clearance that bounced off one of the Arsenal players and found itself at the feet of Raman. And but they couldn't quite get it in the back of the net. What a save by Leno. And that will be the end of the first half. Full stretch. And truly, it needed to be a, a theatrical save from Bert Leno's virtual self, sparing his, his real-life version's bluff, uh, blushes, I should say. I've just uh, watched one, it back on the stream. That, that is an insane was save. was destined for the back of the net, wasn't it? It looked that way. What a save by Leno, that is. And that will keep him in this one. Nil-nil, as said, at the half. Incredible. Incredible end to the first half. It's been a good first half as well. Backwards and forwards. Both teams really going for it, which is what we love to see. We head into the second half now. Hope everybody in the chat on YouTube has been enjoying this one. It may be nil apiece, but... It has been such a close game with opportunities for both sides. Just nobody able to take them quite yet. Kalasnic here for Arsenal straight on the attack. Ozil now to Pepe. Back to Ozil. Look for the pass inside. Plenty of defenders back here for Schalke. Pepe once again is going to find Aubameyang who may find Lacazette. What a save once again. Now will be pushed out for a corner. Another big moment in the game. Whipped in by Pepe and will be cleared away. Caligari will get on the end of this as well. Potential counter-attacking opportunity. David Luiz getting in the way once again, but can't quite get a hold of the ball cleanly. And that will be a free kick. A little bit of respite for Schalke here, Harry. Yeah, and thankfully so. That David Luiz challenge looked good. Of course, a, a, a shout out to everyone watching on the uh, Pez Facebook page as well. Thank you for joining us this evening. And uh, well, it's... It could have been 1-0 to Schalke were it not for Leno's theatrics. Just remember that if Bernd Leno is able to score a goal of his own. Oh, Ramen, really good football here. And that will just squeeze wide of the post. Really good player by the Schalke side. Ball whipped in now. Bernd Leno, <laughs> he will put this one out for a throw-in, but a questionable clearance. It looked the way his hand was traveling that he was going to turn it into his own net. That was very, very close. I see Pujalev looking for a goal here. Raman inside the box into Bergstella. What a save by Leno again. Keeping his side in the game in more ways than one. Harrit now to take the corner. Schalke very much growing into this game. It was felt like mostly Arsenal in the first half. Torreira will clear this one. Pepe will get on the end of it, or will he? Just about retaining this one, it will fall to Harrick. Back inside, though, it is going to be intercepted. Lacazette now to stretch his legs. Ease the pressure on Arsenal that has been building over the last 10 minutes of the second half. It's a poor pass from Kalasnic as well. Schalke definitely growing into this one, you feel, Harrick? Yeah, definitely. And uh, you just know that every save that the virtual... Bernd Leno makes the real life one just puffs his chest out a little bit more and says yeah that was me I did that uh, but Pujalab's certainly in the ascendancy here and Bernd Leno seems to have met his match so far here in the final 60 minutes gone maybe time for subs very soon it's a cheeky little ball inside but Tamar Louise will get in the way we just haven't seen the free scoring nature of Leno that we've seen no. so far throughout I mean you think back to the game against Griezmann he scored five it's um, been some great saves by both oh, keepers oh absolutely yeah. yeah definitely Ozil now looking to create as he so often does Aubameyang to Hector Bellerin to Pepe to Lacazette oh it's really well worked and it would have deserved a goal it's just why 
a massive, massive chance there. The pause is lined up and 65 minutes gone. Changes are coming. Changes to come. And if I'm Burnt Leno, I look at that big red arrow on Nicola Pepe and maybe start to think about subbing him off. Maybe looking at Martinelli, who has a slightly better form. We also have Saka on there as well. But uh, substitutions have been a really key part of Schalke Delphia's route to the final. The likes of McKinney, the likes of Matondo, the likes of Katucci saving Bujaleb's bacon more often than not. We'll see if they feature here once again. There is McKinney replacing Bujalab's uh, virtual self, Katucci. We'll see if it's the home run here. Is Matondo on as well? Nope, saving Matondo for now. And uh, we'll see if he comes on later on in the game. Still no peace between these two. Bujalab will get it away down this left-hand side for Schalke. Into the feet of Rahman now. Maybe just trying to play with the ball a little bit more passively here in the middle of the park. Looking for that massive opportunity. There has been a couple for both teams, but nobody able to convert quite yet. Down a couple of us down this left-hand side for Arsenal. Aubameyang, wayward pass to Harrit. Build-up player here coming from Schalke. Sane now to Stambouli, just making sure to keep a hold of the ball. Zipcat will get this away down this left-hand side. Does have runners ahead of him, but choosing to keep a hold of the ball here smartly. Yeah, needs to be careful, though. All it takes is one mistake when he's playing around with the ball in this kind of position. And the likes of Aubameyang and Lacazette are running at your goal at pace. It's a good ball in. It's going to be Rahman. He's going to take the shot. <laughs> what a finish. Finesse on the edge of the box. And sticks it in the back right corner. And that's the first goal of this final. And it will be Nassim Bujala to take the lead. Well, well, well. It has well. to be said. It, 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 it's, it's been coming. It, it's Just... been coming. He's been growing into this game. And he now has a stamp on it. Just take maybe a look, Chris. An uh, maybe the... an opportunity here. First, Harry. It's yeah. not going to happen. But what a goal that is by Schalke. Just take a look at the immediate response from Bujaleb. Bottom right-hand corner of your screen, that blue bar right at the bottom. Wants to play defensive for the next 10 or so in-game minutes and maintain possession to prevent Bert Leno. Even a sniff of the ball and a chance to come forward. But what a finish it was. Curled perfectly into the corner. And as long as Schalke, as long as Bujaleb retain possession here and keep the ball, then Bujaleb will be the champion. The problem is with keeping all the ball, you do invite that pressure on. Just passing it around his midfield and defence, making sure to not give an opportunity here to Arsenal, who have to push, they have to press. If you've been Leno, you've cruised through up until this moment, but maybe an opportunity on the counter-attack here. Caliguri roaming down the right-hand side. He's got men in the box as well. Good defending. Arsenal will now have the ball. 89 minutes, but they've given it away. Have to be careful if you're Schalke here. Stambouli down this right-hand side. Only added, added time now for Schalke to hold on. Nassim Bujalev, has he done it for his club? Can Arsenal get the ball back? They cannot. He's holding on to it so well. We're into the final minute. Is it going to be grabbed by Arsenal? No, it is not. It is going to be Schalke. The winners yet. At the stay at home with Pez tournament online. And he will take it away for Schalke. Nassim Bujaleb is your winner.